what is up you little carrots welcome back to farming the market this is your boy the average trading joe just wanted to bring you guys in here a couple videos ago we did a video on hexo announcing the reverse split date and everything like that um so i brought up in that video that we had to watch for hexo to be doing more offerings so this article popped up today i just wanted to show you guys um they kind of alleviated the thought of that so just kind of scrolling through the article here um, right about in the middle of the page they're saying that they're not going to be doing a short or a base shelf prospectus at this time um, they had 25 months off the first filing in 2018 November 19th of 2018 so this is just a little clip right here from the CFO of Hexo since the prospectus was initially filed Hexo has made tremendous improvements to its operations product offering and overall business on the path toward profitability. The first quarter of the fiscal year was our sixth sequential quarter of adjusted EBITDA improvement as we marched toward being adjusted EBITDA positive. We are also progressing on the path of becoming cash flow positive from our operations. That's from the CFO Trent McDonald, okay? They announced negative one cent a share earnings uh, a little while back that is calculated to negative four cents a share after the four to one reverse split. So that's something to keep in mind. They're almost positive on their earnings. That's pretty cool. And they continue to blast new, new products out to market. Uh, following this here, we continue to hold the number one position for market share in Quebec while continuing to aggressively expand into other markets and are now top four in adult use market share by net sales dollars in Canada. We have also moved into the top beverage spot through Trust, our joint venture with Molson Coors and have reached the number one market share position for hash, which we believe will continue to be an important category for the industry. In light of our solid financial position and most notably our excellent liquidity and cash flow position, we do not see the need to conduct farther rounds of financing in the near future. So that pretty much alleviates all of the thought that they're going to be doing an offering. Um, so things we're going to be looking for. Um, if you guys remember Aurora Cannabis, when they did their reverse split, I believe it was an eight to one. I'm not 100% positive on that, but they ran all the way up to like over $20 a share in the short, like near term right after that happened. So that's definitely something Hexo could do. I mean, there's still a very small market cap. And as you guys can see, we don't have to worry about them doing another offering, which you guys know just dilutes the shareholders already. So um, Hexo is looking on the up and up right now. So if you guys are in on Hexo or if you guys are in on anything else that you'd like to see a video on, please let me know in the comment section. Um, we're also at 95 subscribers right now. So I'm trying to hit 100 by the end of year. So if you guys like the content and you like the videos I'm putting out, please make sure you like and subscribe to the videos. That way uh, we get more subscribers we get the word out there and yeah i love making these videos for you guys i hope you guys enjoy them as just as much as i do um but yeah that's hexo for you guys so thanks for watching thanks for tuning in and i will see you guys in the next video hope you all have a great holiday season